watching the NTV Sunday Evening News Hour. Thank you for joining us this evening. Well, there are only two national historic sites outside of Canada. One is Vimy Ridge and the other is Beaumont Hamill. While Vimy Ridge is considered a place of triumph, Beaumont Hamill, of course, is one of tragedy for our province's history. CTV's Jason Baxter traveled with a group of students to the area to learn about their Canadian history. We've home to the light a lone caribou stands watch above the battle-scarred and pockmarked landscape, a ghostly reminder of the bloodiest day in Newfoundland's history. This is the area on which the Newfoundland Regiment um, advanced on July 1st, 1916. It was the first day of the Battle of the Somme. Newfoundland, not yet a part of Canada, was a dominion of the British Empire. The British mistakenly thought heavy shelling and an early morning mine explosion had softened up the entrenched German front lines. They were wrong. Right now I'm in one of the British trenches. On that morning, over 800 soldiers from the Royal Newfoundland Regiment rose out of the trenches to attack the German front lines. In less than a half hour, all but 110 of them were either killed or injured or missing. The next morning at roll call, only 68 men were available to the regiment. In less than a half hour, an entire generation of Newfoundland men were wiped out. The soldiers made it no farther than the danger tree, a shattered tree at the halfway point of no man's land. It's where many soldiers gathered, then fell, under withering enemy machine gun fire and a pinpoint artillery barrage. Almost 90% of the regiment was lost. For us, this is a commemorative site. We treat this entire site as if it were a cemetery. On this site alone, there's estimated 80 or 90 Newfoundlanders who still lie here. Um, this is a place for pilgrimages for Newfoundlanders. On this gray morning in northern France, almost a thousand Canadian students gather at Beaumont Hamel, including the largest contingent of Newfoundland and Labrador youth ever to visit the site. The ceremony includes melancholy music from Tim Baker of the acclaimed St. John's band, Hey Rosetta. Feel it empty out Every crooked truth Crippling doubt Kristen Chaff and Jacob Daw are junior high students from St. John's. Chaff's birthday falls on the anniversary of the battle. I was looking at most of the poppies and people have crosses with messages written on them. I, re I was reading some of the messages and thinking about how much it means in the families and even though it happened so many years ago, it still means a lot for people to come here. You see their graves and see some of the last names and you might notice some of them and maybe know people with the same last name and you wonder if they're related to them. Take a moment and look around this battlefield. It is not your textbook. It is not a movie set. Less than 100 years ago, young men from the farthest outport on the northern peninsula to downtown St. John's crossed this battlefield and made the ultimate sacrifice. If we had been born a century ago, they might have been your classmates, your friends, or your brothers. Uh, anyone who wears that, uh, you know, wears that uh, olive drab or, uh, or camouflage uniform knows, knows that, you know, they wouldn't be doing it were it not for these men. And uh, this is the reason why we're the Royal Newfoundland Regiment rather than just the regiment. Mike Grucci has deep connections to this place. The school teacher's great-grandfather, Philip, was one of the few survivors of Beaumont Hamill, and Grucci himself joined the regiment when he turned 18. When I first stepped foot on the ground, I'm not a religious man, but it was, a, you know, it was as close to a spiritual experience as I, can, as I can describe. Just as Vimy Ridge helped define Canada's identity through victory, Beaumont Hamill endures in the fabric of Newfoundland and Labrador as a symbol of sacrifice. Jason Baxter, CTV News, Beaumont Hamill, France. Mm -hmm.